What's up, everyone? This is Rita, aka Fan 老师 your accent coach and Chinese teacher. Let's talk about Shang Chi, this new Marvel movie that finally has an Asian MCU superhero, and it is fire. The cast. The classic Chinese parent kid story, the Marvel production, and even the music. <laughs> If I didn't have a 94-year-old in-law at home, I would have gone straight to the nearest cinema to watch it on opening night. Babe, we have Disney Plus, right? Yes. And from what I've seen so far on the internet, the Chinese Canadian lead Simu Liu spoke really authentic Mandarin. And Aquafina, I mean, everyone loves her. So time for us to watch their Mandarin speaking clips, see what we can learn, and maybe talk about something beyond the Chinese language as well. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so you don't miss out on any Mandarin learning tips that you won't find anywhere else. 三二一，订阅了吗 ？Let's get into it. The incredible Simu Liu. Simu Liu. Wow. Well, 我我自我介绍一下好不好？我的名字是刘思慕，我是哈尔滨出生的，哈尔滨多伦多长大的。今天我非常非常感谢漫威给了我这个机会，扮演上奇。I have to confess that he didn't strike me as being super attractive, although now I found him super chill and funny and nice and hot. But his Mandarin pronunciation, wow! Like his Chinese period. You may have noticed that it's pretty different how the director Dustin Daniel Crane called Simu Liu from how Liu called himself. Simu Liu. Simu Liu. My name is Liu Simu. Liu Simu. And this is actually super typical English-accented Chinese pronunciation, like all the three vowels. For the I in Si, we don't really move our tongue when pronouncing it, because it's not the same as I in B, P, Mi, Li, etc. And it's a different vowel basically when we say it. And like I said before, when you say the Chinese zi zi zi, just keep your tongue flat and say zi, zi, zi. Next, the vowel u. May not look that difficult or that different from the English "wu" sound, as in soon, cool, or too. But again, the simple vowels we don't move our lips or tongue while pronouncing that "wu." So instead of "si wu," we will call him "si mu." With tones for sure, but that might be asking too much for the average person. On the contrary, when it comes to compound vowels or deep tones. There's definitely movement happening in our mouth, like this super common family name, Liu. When English speakers say it, it sounds like a Lu, which could be at least three other family names: Lu, Lu, Lu. The I in the middle of Liu should be pronounced clearly as well. Liu, Liu. My name is Liu Simu. Liu, Si, Mu. But to be honest, Chinese people don't really say "what the name is" or even "what the name is called," which sounds pretty English. We would just say "Hello, I'm Liu." Unless you want to emphasize that my English name is blah 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 or my Chinese name is blah blah blah. Hello, I'm Liu. I'm a Chinese name called Rita. Happy birthday, happy birthday. That being said, the rest of his introduction sounds super good, especially the way he introduced where he was born and where he was raised. I'm from Harbin, born and raised in 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 Harbin, born When natives introduce ourselves, we just use the 是 the structure oftentimes, and 是 can be omitted usually. 我是在北京出生长大的。我是在北京出生长大的。The only point where he gave away that he's not Chinese Chinese was when he said 漫威 and 上奇。今天我非常非常感谢漫威给了我这个机会，扮演上奇，漫威上奇。I'm being extremely nitpicking now. 
because his second tone just sounds perfect without a doubt, which actually could be super difficult for speakers of Indo European languages, i.e., Western languages, especially when it's with the third tone. The thing is, though, that these characters aren't second tones. Manwei. 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 Shangqi. 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 Of course, it's written as CHI CHI instead of CHI, which is meaning to make it easier for Westerners. I watched this video so you know what I mean. I believe if he pays a bit more attention to what tones the syllables are actually pronounced with, his Mandarin would sound like perfect. I mean, really perfect. No wonder in the release clip from the movie Shang Qi, his Mandarin line just sounds like a Northern Chinese actor to me. What? A super clear third tone, which means the tone is low enough. 不想. 不想. Perfectly voiceless. Perfect wu. Perfect si. Perfect ang. Perfect Chinese r without rounding lips, and the perfect vowel le, which actually could be hard for lots of Chinese learners. Re and ma fan. Perfect North neutral tone ang fan. Ma fan. 我不想惹麻烦 And perfect Fuzhou accent too Another funny thing is that Liu Sunwu was trying to correct Aquafina's pronunciation in the movie Shang Qi Shang 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 S-H-A-N-G Shang That's what I said Oh, you can turn it up? Yeah, you can hear me This is hilarious, like a pronunciation drilling session well, despite the tones, we can see it clearly that Simu and Aquafina said the word Shangqi, Shangqi pretty differently, even from outside their mouth. More obviously, Nora curled up the tip of her tongue to the roof of her mouth. Shan, Shan. Whereas Simu flatted his tongue through the whole sound. So we just saw the blade of his tongue. Shang, Shang. And more importantly, the tongue position of the English accented on is higher than the Chinese on Shang Qi Shang Qi I'm really excited to watch the whole movie also because I heard that at least 10% of the conversation in the movie is spoken in Mandarin that's something groundbreaking I've worked with film crews and trained actors with their lines for more than three years now. And I even spent two straight months helping a foreign actress with her movie lines. Even though her pronunciation and tones were already really good back then, to say the lines exactly like how natives do is so many levels up to reach. There are just so many aspects beyond individual sounds in our speech that 99.99% .99 Chinese natives are not even aware of. But these actually influence how we produce the sounds in real life. Together, it takes even more time and effort. It's stuff like this that I'm gonna teach in my Chinese pronunciation course coming soon. Um, it's also one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Nostalgic. Well, singing and rapping can be helpful. And after looking through his Instagram posts, it started making sense to me why his Chinese is this good. He had a very close relationship with his grandparents who lived in Harbin their whole lives. It reminds me of so many Chinese American or Chinese Canadian students that I've taught over past 10 years. The ones who can speak close to native level Chinese are usually the ones who are super close to their Chinese roots and vice versa. They might visit their family in China every year, watch a lot of Chinese dramas, listen to Chinese music, and a lot of them don't even speak Putonghua, but instead speak Wuhanhua, Shanghaihua, Beijinghua, Fuzhouhua, or Guangdonghua. This is what more and more Chinese families are like nowadays. Grandparents living in China and mostly in countryside, parents who move to first-tier cities or immigrate overseas, the young generation is born or raised in the US, Canada, Europe, or a foreign country. And the languages we speak are always a big part of our identity, accents included. I know a lot of Chinese immigrant parents feel conflicted about language education to their kids. In my opinion, Multi-language ability is one of the best gifts that parents can ever give to their kids because the world that their kids get to know and explore will be much bigger and more diverse and probably more opportunities like what Liu Simu got. 
On the other hand, I think Aquafina represents kids from earlier generation of immigrant families, and her Northern Chinese grandma can speak English with her, which is pretty rare for elder Chinese. She still has a lot of connection with her Chinese roots, but her spoken Mandarin carries out more English accented features. You ever blown up a duck, grandma? No, I, I never. I never work in the restaurant like that. You don't that. be able to put a tube in. <laughs> <laughs> I watched her Golden Globe winning movie Farewell on a Flight. It is a really touching story that in a way shares a similar typical Chinese family relationship with Shang-Chi. Now let's watch a few clips of his brilliant performance and listen to her Chinese. You think where is better? China or America? Typical. Different. Different. Ah. Different. How is it different? Nothing. Same. Definitely in America will be better. Different. Just different. 就是不一样,就是不一样,就是不一样。我觉得你肯定更习惯在美国的生活。可能。可能。可能。Maybe。I don't know how good her Mandarin really is, but here I think she just used the English intonation into the Chinese sentences, instead of pronouncing tones for each syllable. It's super common for Chinese learners if they don't really pay attention to the tones when practicing their spoken Chinese. 不一样。不一样。不一样。不一样。就是不一样。就是不一样。可能。可能。可能。我没事儿。我没事儿。我就是很累。So "没事儿" sounds really good, really Norton, given she used the "儿化" at the end of "是". But the second sentence, "I'm just tired," in the Norton accent, we would say "就是" shorter and lighter, especially "是" because. The word doesn't really carry a super important meaning. And the neutral tone is a big difference between the accents in the north and south. 我就是很累。我就是很累。我就是很累。在美国,我们没有很多家人。很多家人。我想你们。我想你们。我想你们。我想你们。一起庆祝。一起庆祝。this is a wedding speech given on stage, and obviously she practiced more, so it sounds better. And definitely better than most actors who try to speak Mandarin in movies. But still, if I were her Chinese accent coach, I'd suggest she practice the Chinese R. The third tone change. 我想你们,我想你们, or 我想你们, and tones of words that we use every day, like 很多,能, but Aquafina is hilarious. She's cool, she raps, and she was the first Asian woman to win a Golden Globe for Best Actress, so what more can we ask for? But I really hope there will be more people speaking Mandarin in movies or shows, so I can analyze and help you improve your Chinese learning, speaking and listening, or join my pronunciation course that I'm gonna launch later this year. Anyways, if you are overseas Chinese, you are very welcome to share your Mandarin learning story in the comments. And let me know if there are any Chinese speaking celebrities that you want me to make a video about. Remember, with Fan Lao Chinese makes perfect sense. See you in the next video.